Hello everyone. I'm so glad you've joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you to create some cards on your own. This is my last day for playing with the Bloom and Grow stamp set and the Budding Blooms dies. And here's the card I made. And today, for my technique, I decided to color on the stamp. Now you can struggle with this with the photopolymer stamps, but I got a couple of hints for you. <clears throat> so here's the Bloom and Grow stamp set, and I used this image here. All right, so let's get started with that. I have my block. I'm gonna move my card up here. I have my block with my um, stamp on it. And it's a little hard to see on the black, so I'm gonna put it on my white paper. But now I'm ready to color it in. And I'm gonna start with Poppy Parade. And you can use whatever red you have. And I'm just gonna color the flowers. Now, you can struggle, I have to watch it, there's a, um, I did a leaf there that doesn't need to be done, so I have to be careful there. With the photopolymer, it can be hard to get the ink to stick, so here's my suggestion. Use your photopolymer quite a bit, and if you want to use it and you haven't, you want to use this technique and you haven't used your stamp, ink it up a few times and stamp it with Versamark. All right, I think I got it. And then the ink will stick. All right, so I've got that. Next, I'm going to do the green, and I'm using Garden Green. So I'm going to do all my leaves and my stems. And I have a tendency to turn it just because I can see it better, especially those stems when they're out here on the edges. It's hard to see. All right, now this is the one that I colored before that I got to go in and fix. All right. And if you color something that's not supposed to be colored, just take and use a paper towel, a rag, whatever you use, and just wipe it off and color again. All right, and I just did that petal, which is not a leaf, so I'm going to pull that back out. Um, I usually just use my hand, wipe it off, and then wipe my hand on my pants. I always wear old clothes when I, whoops, there's one there I missed, when I craft because I'm not very good about staying clean. I would much rather craft and not worry about it. Okay, now I'm going to do the balls to this with daffodil. Nope, sorry, crushed curry. Um, to give it some more color. And then the only thing we have left after we get all these colored is the center of the flower. And poppies usually have a black center. So I pulled out my black pen and I'm just gonna color the centers. They're fairly easy to do. Um, you know your stamp set, so to speak, or your stamp is cured if you can add the color and it doesn't bead up. If it beads up, you need to use it some. All right, I've got this colored. <coughs> Excuse me. But I need to huff on it because what I colored first is probably dry. So I'm going to huff on it and then I'm going to stamp it. <sighs> All right. Stamp it down. All right. And there you have it. And see, 
you do get a good image if you've used it. Now I have pulled out the die and I don't see my die thing but it's from the budding dies and it coordinates with the bloom and grow set and I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this out. Here's what you're looking for at Dollar Tree. Now mine has glue goobers all over it but that's what it is and maybe you'll find one in there and be lucky. Now I'm going to take my image that I've colored. This is a quick card and a great way to use um, these images without having to color the whole thing in. Um, sometimes I'm in the mood to color and sometimes I'm not. And this was one of those days. It was like, I want to use this image, but I don't want to have to spend all that time coloring it. So this is a great way to use the image and not have to color the whole thing in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, almost done. I'm gonna put one more there. I might put one there, just play it safe because it's sticking up. All right, let me get my backs off and we can put this on our card. Oh. Well, my pieces went flying. All right, turn this around so I can get the other ones. Remember to hold your image carefully so that you don't rip it, especially if it's got a tiny edge. All right, now, I'm gonna put that on right about there. Um, and then the only other thing is, is it was kind of um, plain to me. So I thought, let's add some pearls. This is a pearl kind of card to me. So I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna put one down here. And I'm gonna put an itty bitty one. I seem to use up all of them but the itty bitty ones. All right, and I'm gonna put one. Um, let's come down a little, right about there. And then another itty bitty one. I love these little itty bitty ones. And there you have it. And like I said, just use the piece, extra piece to do your inside. And then for the envelope, I stamped the image. Oops, got it upside down. I stamped the image uh, the same way. I just colored it with my markers. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. Give me a thumbs up, like my channel, subscribe so you know when I upload. Have a great day.